Hey there guys, Lonely Wolf here with another video for you. This time, instead of focusing on a particular topic to round out your skills and knowledge and doing a deep dive focus on it, I'm actually going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to discuss the top three things I think players get wrong in the long dark. Uh, these are things that I see pretty commonly come up in forum posts, on Steam, on the official forums, and on the Reddit. So, without further ado, let's dive right on in. Number one, I think one of the biggest struggles players face, both new and veteran, is the inability or difficulty in changing their playstyle or adapting to different difficulties. Many new players struggle to advance from, say, Pilgrim to Voyager, or from Voyager to Stalker. And many veteran players repeat simple mistakes that end up costing them dearly in the long run, without realizing their mistakes. Let's discuss the first part of this issue, the new player. The thing about the Long Dark is that difficulty isn't exactly a linear progression across the different experience modes, whereas this tends to be the case with a lot of other games where you might have a difficulty curve that you can, you know, readily pick up on and advance with. But in the Long Dark, there's several factors that contribute to the perceived difficulty, such as availability of loot, worsening weather, and aggressive wildlife. There's also some other factors, such as the rate at which you lose and gain condition, and your stats like temperature and fatigue and the possibility of getting cabin fever or intestinal parasites. Each additional system and change made to it can be relatively minor or somewhat major depending on which experience mode you choose, and layering each individual change all together can make the jump from one experience mode to the next almost impossible. So, for the new player out there, here's what you need to know. If you want to move up the ladder of experience modes without struggling so much, you're going to have to identify what aspects of the game challenge you the most, be it wildlife, or loot availability, or weather. Then, you're going to have to adjust your playstyle to accommodate that difference as you jump from one experience mode to the next. At first, this can be hard because you may not be sure what to analyze or how to be able to make those changes you need to your playstyle. But, it doesn't take too much effort to have a look at how you look uh, and play and explore in the game and identify areas you can make improvements in. Now if that sounds a little bit vague, that's because it is, because I'm not going too deep in this video. For that, I have a card in the upper right hand corner for a detailed guide I have on the specific subject related to playstyle tuning. And I've also got individual playstyle tuning videos for each experience mode as well. Now for the veteran player out there who still struggles now and then, the same concept really applies. Instead of trying to analyze how the systems changed as you jump between experience modes, try to objectively look back at what you did that led to your downfall. So I'll give a bit of an exaggerated but relevant example. In one of my previously interloper runs that I've done here on YouTube, I was doing relatively okay, maybe a little bit delayed in my goals, but I had gotten too cocky and careful and carefree with the wolves, which led to my death. I was cooking up a nice kill, and I thought I could step out of safety and shoot a wolf, but I overestimated both my ability to do so and the wolf's aggression. It's a simple mistake, but a very large one. Perhaps your mistakes are such small, much smaller, such as not checking to see if you have enough water to take with you, or overexerting yourself on an exploration day, and finding your fatigue with no safe spot to sleep. The point is, identify where you made a mistake, and if that mistake snowballed into other consecutive mistakes, and learn from that to improve in your next run. Again, I've got some videos and playlists listed in the cards in the upper right that delve deeper into those issues, and especially on this topic, to assist you guys. So, number two. The second big thing that I think players do wrong in the long dark. I think they don't plan ahead, which leads them into making simple mistakes that compound over the long run. Because of the nature of the long dark, there will be days where it's impossible for you to do things such as explore, hunt, or cook. Be it a blizzard outside, resting up from a bear attack, or any other plethora of issues that could affect you. There will come a time in your run where you are forced to play far more conservatively than you would like. And if you don't have the supplies stocked up or a game plan in place, you could find yourself in a downward spiral of dwindling odds of survival. So there's two aspects to this. A, a short term plan for the week ahead of you, and long term goals to pursue such as summoning Timberwolf Mountain or getting a bearskin coat. For your short term plan, make sure you have goods like food and water well stocked up so that if a few bad days come along where you can't get out, you'll have the supplies you need to weather the storm. Try to make the most of the good days outside, be it exploring or hunting, to maximize the amount of resources you're getting while it is good weather. 
It's best early on to identify whatever long-term goals you want to achieve in the run so that you can begin preparing for them ahead of time and find a good time to execute on those goals where it works best in managing your resources, your, your time, and your availability to accomplish them instead of just haphazardly pursuing them in a matter that might put you at extra risk. Again, cards in the upper right for dedicated videos on the subject. All right, the third and final mistake a lot of players make in the long dart is repeating the same run over and over. They find a region they know, they repeat the same pattern every run, and then get bored with the game. Or, even if they don't get bored, they don't ever venture out of their comfort zone, they can't ever grow and expand with the game or appreciate different aspects of the game and feel like they've become stuck. The Long Dark has a lot to offer, and it has many things to see and explore and accomplish during your run, and a lot of players either intentionally or subconsciously self-gatekeep themselves to a limited scope of the game that limits their enjoyment or doesn't challenge them. Now I'm not suggesting that you should go ahead and make the game unfun for yourself by forcing you to pick an experience mode you can't cope with or that you should throw all caution to the wind and explore everything at a breakneck pace. But I am suggesting that you should take a look at your formula and try and shake some things up and uh, find some of the places you've yet to visit or accomplish some goals you've not yet set out and completed. Challenging yourself in the long dark can be a great way to learn new regions and other aspects of the game to grow your skills at surviving. You know, take for example the player who has never gone to Timberwolf Mountain uh, simply because they've heard it's hard, uh, but it might be something they want to do. Until they actually start working at that goal and attempting to achieve it, that may be something that severely limits their growth and their ability to progress in the long dark. So it's important for you as a player to identify these areas where you may find specific things that you just complete over and over just because it's easy and you never challenge yourself to go further. For many players, keeping the formula the same, or even only slightly varying it, is a good thing. But for many other players, you find yourself kind of in a rut where, without you changing up that formula, you get stuck. So it's important to identify where you are and what you are trying to do and what all you want to do in your run and in the long dart, and make those changes to accomplish those goals. Well, this concludes my top three things you're doing wrong in the long dart. Let me know in the comments below if this helped you out, or what other videos you would like me to make on any subject relating to the long dark. Consider subscribing and sharing this video if you found it helpful. And as always, I have a ton of other guides and playlists. Again, check those cards in the upper right and the links in the description below. I've been Lonely Wolf. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. As always, stay safe and stay warm out there.